Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So two days ago, Sprint completed their first testing using massive MIMO technology in a partnership with Ericsson and it was done in Seattle live on the network. Now what the technology is, as most of you now know, a lot of carriers are now using the 4x4 MIMO technology, which is 4x4. The massive MIMO technology that Sprint is using is 64 by 64. So that antenna is a bit thicker and a bit bigger, but it does have about 128 elements inside of it. And essentially what it does, it just moves you on and off the network a lot faster. So it brings about up to five times the amount of capacity that the net network can currently handle. So just to break it down to you guys, there was a video that Ericsson filmed and it was a crowd of all carriers um, it was AT&T Verizon T-Mobile and it was a hundred people from each and they were using Galaxy S7s if I remember correctly and what they were doing they had to download a file within 15 seconds and see how many of the hundred people can actually complete that download within the 15 seconds and I believe Verizon only six were able to do it. AT&T was like 12 and I think T-Mobile did 16. Well Sprint using the massive MIMO all hundred people were able to complete that download within the 15 seconds. So a lot of people are saying well this is an unfair test. Sprint is using newer technology and at the time probably all the other networks only had to offer what was available on those towers. And we don't know the condition if they were close by the tower or not so take that with a grain of salt but once again i just wanted to let you guys know you can check these videos out as well i will leave the link to this article in the description down below you can also read it there's some pictures at the bottom it's really good technology it's also what you know essentially t-mobile is going to be using for their rollout as well for their 600 megahertz and how they will accomplish 5g it will also be using the massive MIMO technology. And um, it looks like Sprint is trying everything that they can. They want to invest in newer technology and they're doing it. But once again, it is Sprint. They have a lower budget, so it's not going to be rolled out everywhere. In my opinion, Sprint is going to use this. And I think they said it publicly in more busy areas such as malls, densely populated areas. But just, you know, driving down your work commute down your highway that you go you probably won't get this so just keep that in mind but this is the bridge to 5g so definitely check this article out really good guy really knowledgeable check out the videos as well this is tyrone with tech life don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace